In this video, I'm going to take old corroded brass and show you how to easily clean it up and get it polished. Let me show you what the uh, end result looks like. So these came off of a 1966 Boston Whaler and uh, they were extremely corroded. I'll show you real quick exactly how we got these to uh, where they're at. Stay tuned, keep watching and you'll see exactly how we got these cleaned up. Today I'm going to go over how to polish small intricate pieces of brass. Um, let me show you what I've got here. These came off of the Boston Whaler restoration I'm doing. Normally I would use a uh, buffing wheel and polishing compound, but these are small and they've got paint on them as well. I'm going to go ahead and get the paint off of these uh, using paint remover. Alright, so I've got a little trick to get, uh, clean up these brass. I've done these by hand. I've wet sanded them. Actually, this is one that I done by hand. Let me uh, give you a close-up. Here's one that I've done already. I um, wet sanded these and put them on a polisher. I'm going to show you the uh, lazy way to do these. So here's two that I got that still got some significant corrosion. But what I'm going to do is show you how to get rid of this corrosion uh, without doing a, about an hour's worth of, uh, of uh, wet sanding. So let me get started with that. I'll show you real quick. All right, so I've got this little container. I'm going to zoom in on it and show you exactly what I'm doing. And um, what I'm going to do is take some aluminum foil. Fold it up so the shiny side is facing the uh, surface because we want some good contact. Set that aside. white vinegar it's gonna smell like a salad in here um, I've got some kosher salt and I'm not even gonna measure I'm just gonna get some in there and I'm gonna stir it around of course I'm gonna use one of these uh, corroded uh, brass fittings. I want to get that salt to dissolve and that's just to provide a little bit of a uh, conductance because what's going to happen the aluminum foil and the brass are going to interact it's almost going to act like a battery and uh, with the acid being in between there so I've got some salt stirring that up getting most of it dissolved I'm going to put the aluminum foil in here Now I'm going to smell like a salad. I'm going to put the uh, brass pieces in there and you're going to start seeing some bubbles coming up. I'll give you a close up in a minute. Let's let this reaction start working. So you can see the reaction already uh, starting to work. There's bubbles coming off of the uh, the brass fittings and my, my goal here is to just get as much of that corrosion off as possible uh, before I go to the polishing stage all right so this has been sitting in here a couple hours it actually doesn't look great it actually looks black but that's not a bad thing and I'll show you why in a second let me zoom in on what we've got going on here and um, show you exactly what I'm talking about so these pieces they look black, but the reality is, is that black is just a layer that just really easily comes off. Yeah, I'm going to go up close to the camera, even though I smell like vinegar. So what it's done is uh, that, uh, that electrolysis is actually the electrolysis has actually taken that off. It's left a fine coating on there, but um, nothing uh nothing terrible but you can see that this thing is clean it's not polished yet we're going to go through that in a second and show you the lazy man's way of polishing uh all of this uh all of this brass so 
So I'm just going to go ahead and brush, brush this stuff off. tarnish that's been loosened uh, in this process. I'll show you this piece. This piece is pretty much pitch black when I uh, started it. So you can see it's got a lot of that brass color back, back to it. And you can see that tarnish rubbing off of my hand. So here's all those pieces after they uh, soaked in uh, vinegar, salt, and um, aluminum foil, and then just lightly brushed them off. And I'm actually really impressed at the amount of stuff that came off of them and the conditioner. And I'm going to dry them off, and I'm going to show you the preferred way of polishing. Actually, I actually prefer to polish these things on a polishing wheel. All right, so here's the point where I forgot to turn the microphone on on the camera. What I'm doing here is using some white polishing compound or a buffing compound. Um, I have red too. I prefer the white on the brass. It seems to work better than the uh, red jeweler's rouge. But you also want to put some uh, protection on because I have had pieces fly off this buffing wheel and uh, usually fly across the room, but you know there is the potential that they might hit you as well. Uh, anyway, um, carefully go around the entire piece. This one's kind of intricate. Um, you could use a Dremel with a little buffing wheel as well. Uh, I actually have one, but um, I'm not going to show it in this video for crazy reasons. Actually, lazy reasons. Anyway, um, what I'm doing is, of course, buffing this out uh, with the uh, white jeweler's rouge or the white buffing compound. <laughs> See little hairs flying off of the thing, which is another good reason to wear eye protection. And um, in a minute here, I'm going to wipe it down because when you use the rubbing or buffing compound what happens is it leaves a layer on here so here we go I'm gonna rub it down and I'm getting ready to show you exactly what it looks like after buffing it here we go almost here mm, yep all right there you go so you can see it leaves a nice nice shine brings it back to, uh, takes that copper color off that was there originally um, after the vinegar aluminum foil and salt treatment um, I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. So I'm going to get on with it, and, uh, buff out all the rest of the pieces that I have for this boat, and then uh, I'll show you what the final result looks like. Here's the end result. You'll see these pieces of brass um, look pretty good. They're uh, shiny. They're to their original uh, luster, I would say. Um, there's some dings and dents, but that's okay. They're they're almost as old as I am, so that's to be expected. But I'm really pleased with the way these came out. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And uh, if you did, hit like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like, share it, and uh, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.